Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ACT, Nita's Communication Tutorial. Hello everyone, in this video we will explain about characteristics of sensors. So basically there are two types of characteristics, static characteristics and dynamic characteristics. Static characteristics are those characteristics which are used to measure the quantities which are slow varying with time or are mostly constant. They are based on steady state response. Dynamic characteristics are those characteristics which changes rapidly with time. The properties of the system are based on the transient response to the input. Here are few static characteristics. First, accuracy and precision, range and span, sensitivity and resolution, hysteresis and linearity, reproducibility and repeatability. So here comes the first static characteristics that is accuracy and precision. Accuracy is the capability of the measuring instrument to give result close to the true value of the measured quantity. It generally measures error. It is measured by absolute and relative errors. Absolute error is given by measured value minus true value and relative error is given by absolute error upon true value. Next is the precision. Precision is defined as the closeness among set of values. If suppose xt be the true value of variable x and a random experiment measures x1, x2 till xi as the values of x, then x1, x2 till xi are precise when they are very near to each other but not necessarily close to the true value. But if they are close to the true value, then they are accurate. Hence, accurate measurements are always precise. Precision applies agreement between successive readings. In this figure, we can see the first figure. If center represents the true value, then all points are near to the true value. Therefore, they have high accuracy. And also, the points are close to each other. So, they have highly precise values. In the second figure, the points are away from the center, that is true value. Therefore, are less accurate. But all points are close to each other, therefore are highly precise. In the third case, neither the points are close to the true value nor they are close to each other. Therefore, they are less accurate and less precise. Next static characteristics is range and span. Range is the minimum and maximum value of a physical variable that a sensor can sense or measure. For example, RTD for measurement of temperature has a range of minus 200 degrees celsius to 800 degrees celsius span is the difference between maximum and minimum value of input so span of rtd in this case will be 800 minus of minus 200 degrees centigrade that is 1000 degrees centigrade the next static characteristic is sensitivity and resolution sensitivity is the ratio of change in output to change in input if y be the output quantity with respect to input x, then sensitivity is given as dy by dx. It is the simplest amount of difference in quantity that will change the instrument's reading and it should be high. For example, sensitivity of a thermal is given by change in voltage to change in temperature. Resolution is the smallest unit of measurement that can be sensed by a sensor. If the input is slowly increased from some arbitrary input value, it will again be found that output does not change at all until a certain increment is exceeded. This increment is called resolution. For example, resolution of a voltmeter having a range from 0 to 10 volt having 100 division is 0 0.1 volt. The next static characteristics is hysteresis and linearity. Hysteresis is the difference in output when input is varied in two ways, increasing and decreasing. Some sensors do not return to the same output when input is increased or decreased. The width of expected error in terms of measured quantity is known as hysteresis. Linearity is the maximum deviation between the measured value of a sensor from an ideal curve. Here we can see in the figure the first figure shows the figure for linearity. This is the measured curve and one is the ideal curve. The ideal curve is the linear one and so the difference between these gives the maximum error. The second one is the curve for hysteresis. Here we have two, uh, two curves. One is for the increasing input and one for the decreasing input. 
and the difference between these two gives the hysteresis. The next static characteristics is reproducibility and repeatability. Reproducibility is defined as ability of a sensor to produce same output when same input is applied taken over a long time interval performed by different operators with different instruments and in different laboratories. There is a slight difference between reproducibility and repeatability. Repeatability is defined as the ability of a sensor to produce same output every time when same input is applied, keeping all the physical conditions same. The next type of characteristics of sensor is the dynamic characteristics. Dynamic characteristics are the characteristics which are due to the presence of energy storing elements and they exist when the input signals are varied. For example, here we can see dynamic characteristics are determined by analyzing the response of sensor to different types of variable input waveforms like impulse, step, ramp, sinusoidal, etc.